and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Rakdos aggro. So the story behind this deck is we've played a few different Rakdos decks here on stream recently, including like Rakdos Aristocrats and so on. And while I've been playing them, it just kind of felt that um, a better Rakdos deck would be lower to the ground and similar to mono red aggro, but maybe just splashing black a little bit for cards like Gutterbones, Dreadhorde Butcher, Judith. Some, some powerful black cards, but then, you know, still going with Burn Spells, Light Up the Stage, Experimental Frenzy, you know, some of the, the really good parts to Mono Red. And so that's what I'm going to try here. So I, I decided to put it together to give it a try. So this is kind of a different take here on Mono Red Aggro and using um, a little bit of black um, for some more staying power against control with Gutter Bones. Uh, you know, Butcher can, can do a lot of damage. Judith gets those those triggers and everything. And then the other thing that Black gives you is gives you a better sideboard. Because, you know, you have like Duress. You have Moment of Craving for the, the Mono Red Mirror. Um, and, of course, we have Angrath, which is just an awesome card as well. We can even have an Elder Spell to kill a bunch of Planeswalkers. So Black gives us a little bit of a, a better sideboard also. So, um yeah, so let's give it a try. You know, I haven't haven't played too much of this deck yet. Um, but yeah, we're basically taking the good parts of mono red and, and splashing a little black, seeing if the the sideboard or sorry, the mana base works out for us. Um, so yeah. I'm I'm liking this deck. I'm pretty confident in it actually. So even though I haven't even though it's kinda like an, a newer deck and um, haven't played it too much, I'm gonna go ahead and just send, send it on over to Mythic actually. Let's do it. Let's just play some ranked games over there. We'll have we'll have our ranked matches be our proving ground here. I just had a Grixis player thought erasure me when I had a Tamio in play. And so they emoted oops. So then cast Angras Rampage to try to make you sacrifice the Tamiyo. <laughs> and then said oops. Oops again and conceded. Uh, man. That's a that's a sad story right there. That's a sad tale. Hey Daft Square, what's up? Yeah, Tamiyo can be pretty rough. All right, Mono White, we'll see how we do here. Hmm. So if I play Firebrand, I keep them from flipping landing. But Butcher just uses my mana better and can take out two creatures. They attack. Oh, they have an elephant. That would have been a reason to play <coughs> the Firebrand. Good, good hand. Venerate Luxodon is just such an awesome card.
So attacking with a Butcher would deal four damage to them because they would just block with Vanguard and give it indestructible, and it would kill the Knight. So it would kill a Knight and deal four damage to them. Have this Judith kill the Law Rune Enforcer, have the Firebrand do that. So these histories are going to be four threes. Hey, Raffle Guru, good evening. The bodyguards get it too. Um... I guess I just shouldn't have tacked. Had the Dreadhorde Butcher back. Also, is that history? I... I... Didn't figure... The bodyguards getting the pump also. And it was 
is over. Hey, J Jack. The deck I wanted you to play. It's a fun deck to play and runs pretty well. Tomorrow's fine. Give me a quick tech when you have a moment. That would be fine. All right. Yeah, sounds good. Gosh. I'm drawing all of our top end right in, right in a row. So there's not two cards that, that help protect me from the three... Three creatures here. There's not any anything that we can hit with either of those. Yeah, two shot. Yeah, even if we hit two shocks, it doesn't it doesn't save us because they have three creatures because they have the they have the land that's flipped. Let's make another creature. Do I want Tibalt here? Tibalt. Hey, Sway. Hmm. All right, so if we take out Chandra and Angrath. I don't know. I could definitely see this going a lot longer here after sideboard. With us having more removal, they're going to have more removal. I could see these games going a lot longer, and 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 therefore, like keeping in the Planeswalkers being a good idea, to be honest. Especially on the play. Oh no no, no like the frenzies are awesome. No, the frenzies are certainly not coming out. Um Frenzies are Frenzies are the best card, but I mean, like, it, with the with the frenzies also having in in the planeswalkers, I'm gonna take out a couple of like the the creatures, like the gutter bones and like as you saw there, gutter bones and Viachina pyromancer. Take out some creatures a little bit. Yeah, Luxodon is just that's that's a really difficult card to deal with for sure. Sway, yeah, you can always send me questions, Sway. That's, yeah, always. Yeah, JJ, got got the donation deck there. So what is it? To mono white aggro. Very nice. All right, so Judith, pretty good here. Now our Firebrand gets to kill one of these tokens.
Is there so any any time of the day tomorrow, J Jack, that you'd like me to play it? It's a great turn for them. Um, not looking good. Not looking so good. So I would have to team up like Pyromancer and Butcher. That's fine. Okay, back to being manageable. You and I are gonna take them out. What's that smell? Ugh. Oh, it's you. Strike, I need you. Oh yeah, I could have just blocked the knight and sacrificed the goblin. And dealt that, that extra point of damage. Yeah, yeah y'all are right. Should have just done that. I could have saved. No problem. Fire can't solve. Four points of damage there. So killing the knight because has its vigilance. So yeah, I could have saved four points of damage there. <laughs> That's my bad. Third elephant? No, Conclave Tribunal. Still. I am out it's gonna make this harder. Hmm. Yeah, they got me. That's a good hand over here they got me if I would have if I would have saved that four damage I would have been able to survive another turn so you know maybe that other turn is like a frenzy that that uh, you know gets me a lot of you know that um, that gets me back some cards and everything like that, or just, you know, coil, you know. Maybe I would have stabilized if I would have had that extra turn. Which I could have had if I would have blocked and sacrificed. Let's give us a try. I'm not keeping this. Oh, right, sorry. Wrong way, oh, 01. Please, no shock. Yay, no shock. Hey, Lolly Yeager, getting that gifted sub from Santa Sway. Thank you so much, Sway. And uh, Lolly Yeager, hope, you're, hope you get all your hype boats out there. For every sub and enjoy all the all the emotes. Uh, 
All right, looks like we got some gruel going on over here. All right, Butcher did its job. All right, let's find the Frenzy, light up the stage. Bleh, 4-4. Four, 4-4 four. Four, four is too big. So we'll be able to steal Spellbreaker next turn with Angrath. Ugh, wish I had Lava Coils. So I could have stricken the phoenix and then stole the egg with Angrath. But it's not necessarily too difficult to kill a phoenix. All we need to do is like, you know, like a firebrand. It helps get us there. You know, kind of the same thing with like the spellbreaker. You know, lightning strike can pair up with, with basically anything. So might as well just get the spellbreaker out of there where we get to attack. Not a bad curve. Strike, Spellbreaker, Phoenix, Hellkite. Not a bad curve at all. Devil's chains in the Stormwreck Sea, I go. You want to go, Tuffy? All right, let's see if we can find a ninth this land. It's going to be bad for you. All right, nope. When you have Frenzy in your deck, you're not, never out of it. We've gotten all these lands. The Chandras have not been very impressive. I've, through these games, it kind of feels like we should just have four Frenzies. And maybe not Chandra. Chandra has not... Yeah, not been Frenzy. Basically, each one of these Chandras that we've had. We've had Chandra every game, and in every game, Frenzy would have been a lot better. So I think that's... So after this game, I'm going to just change that. I'm going to take out one of the Chandras and put in a fourth frenzy. Huh. Oh, it ain't the first time I've been knocked about. Right now I have <clears throat> Right now I have three Chandras in the deck. Wait, oh, I don't have the two mana for Strike, right? So I, I have three, or sorry, I have three Frenzies and two Chandras. Um, need all these coils. Yes, yeah, so I have three Frenzies, two Chandras, and we've drawn Chandra every single game, and every single game would have been a lot better to just be a Frenzy. All 
So besides just coil in, I don't know if there's anything else I really want to do. Is Angrath better than Chandra? Potentially. So would I rather take out Shock or Strike? I guess Shock, because Strike, yeah, I think Strike's probably going to be better for us. Now, Theater of Horrors is really slow. I'm not that big on Theater of Horrors, I think. I think Frenzy, Chandra, and Grath, those are all better than theater. All right, looking for ditching the firebrand because I'm looking for something more powerful. Uh, with, you know, how relative, relatively weak our hand is here. Okay. Not a lightning strike. So Butcher, Butcher starts to go and put in some work now. If you think I'm crazy, wait till you see my mates. What's that? Something smells rotten. Wait, that might be me. Please, sir, give me some more. Oh, looks like you're all mouth. And all right, come on, frenzy. <laughs> Seems to want some heart fire. I need more frenzies. That's what I need. Butcher is almost out of coil range. If we can get one more hit in with Butcher, can't get coiled anymore. If I don't do this, then the Hellkai can just shoot like the 1 1, or you know, they draw a lava coil, anything like that. It's fine. Frenzy. Alright, we're almost there.
So I think I'm just gonna fire off one lightning strike here at end step. Get one out of my hand. Yeah, I just need one more damage. So another shock, a strike, a firebrand, a dreadhorde butcher. Maybe I fire this one off too. Or how about a seventh land? Yeah, light up the stage. Would be a nice one. Judith would be a good draw. Is, th is there anything in my deck that's not a good draw besides land? Yes, Chandra, okay. So we're four for four in game so far. We've played four games. Every single game we've drawn Chandra. Every single game it's been bad, and Frenzy would have been miles better. Four for four with that now. There's just one there's just one Chandra in the deck right now. I th yeah, there's just one Chandra in the deck. So of course we drew it. Yay. All right, we drew drew a spell. All right, after this match, we're definitely taking those out. All right, so they're playing a mortal sun. Hmm. Do I want to rest? We take out Chandra here on the draw. Could take out Angrath also, but then, you know, we'd be. Good to rest. I don't really, yeah, or sun, but just dressing, just taking Lava Coil. Yeah, you know, like they're gonna have Lava Coil, Lightning Strike, uh, you know, getting those cards. You know, then, yeah, they have Domri, and yeah, I don't think they'll have a Mortal Sun still. I'm gonna play this, this one Duress just to get him. Just to get him. Just to get him. See, they had a coil. So now do I... Do I let Dreadhorde Butcher just trade with a Llanowar Elf? That's the next question, and I think the answer to that is no. Then I'm striking a Llanowar Elf? I guess so. Otherwise, if I if I don't do this, let's say I let's say I just play Dreadhorde Butcher and don't attack. And then like play like Judith next turn, but then they just don't block 
and they'd have two land werewolves out and they just get to slam Immortal Sun. All right, drawing the gutter bones, doing that, trying to keep him off the sun. Wait, Pulse of Morasso is being reprinted in the core set. That card's pretty cool. All right, Frenzy time. Yeah, we finally drew a Frenzy instead of a Chandra. Uh, it kind of took me to not have any Chandras in, in my deck. Well, that's pretty unfortunate. That makes the Phoenix more difficult to deal with. Hey, good job, Oz. Glad you're doing well with the Gruul Arkbo deck. I maybe need to get back to that. I haven't... Since switching from Gruul Arkbo, I've lost all my other matches here in Mythic. Since then, moved down from number 50 to number <laughs> 678 here with different decks. Okay, what am I doing with this strike? It's a tough call. I wish I could see that next card. Okay. Judith, attack. How could I attack? Marta. Or like, oh, attack attack with the gutter bones? Into the frenzy? Or sorry, into the phoenix? You know, because if they if they have gut if gutter bones just attack or blocks phoenix, the gutter bones dies and I, I can ping them for one, but I can't I wouldn't be able to ping the egg, so we would so we would just be putting the gutter bones in the graveyard. So yeah, we would we would have pinged them for one, put the gutter bones in the graveyard, and then cast light up the stage. Hmm. Decide just to get Frenzy going. And look for Lava Coil. I guess Light Up the Stage would have, dig would have dug us also. I am really glad for that. I'm really glad they're not lightning striking me. And making me, like, you know, basically dead. Gosh, no land? Our... <clears throat> That's the thing about Frenzy. You want to keep hitting your land drops so you can keep playing more things. Did not do a good job of that. Really, really use a coil right now. Yeah, that card. That's the card I want. Coil. Hmm. Well, I shouldn't have said something about the lands, I guess. There they go. Yeah, I said I wanted lands, but not all of them in a row like that. All right, so let's do a little bit of changing here. 
Let's get another frenzy over here. Let's get let's get another frenzy and another Angrath. Angrath's also awesome. I'm off Chandra. Let's get Chandra out of here. Yeah, that looks better. And um, fourth coil. Yeah, we'll put fourth coil on the board. Okay. And then Aurelia. Aurelia is not doing it. It's my turn. Let's go, Rakdos. Careful, I'm getting bored. <laughs> yeah, I was at like 300, and then we lost two matches, and now we're at over a thousand. Like before this, we were at like 350 or something. And then, yeah, first lost to like 650, and then another loss to 1,000. You lose a lot of spots with this. Um, Spawn of Mayhem being double black means that I'm not really too into it. Yeah, whenever there's a account created three minutes ago that just starts asking just dumb questions in chat, if you're a moderator, you can just ban it. No, I don't like theater fours. Um, yeah, it's just it's very slow. Um, even though Mortify is out of the, the metagame, Little Teferi is still everywhere, and it's not very good against Little Teferi. Definitely possible that just playing the two Dreadhorde Butchers is better. I mean, well, playing the two Dreadhorde Butchers is better for that turn for sure. But I'm hoping that in like three turns we have a much, much better turn because I played the Frenzy, because I took this turn off for Frenzy. So I'm hoping that like the, the next few turns are better. So they're down to five. Don't have much more damage to do here. Down to four.
All right, four four crisis. Can I? So if I sacrifice, sacrifice Frenzy, I'm playing Viachino Pyromancer. Yeah. And then next turn, double Dread Horde. Both being two ones, thanks to the Judith. Both being one ones. So that should still be enough. Depending on what they have here. If they have another creature, I guess. Yeah, maybe it's not quite enough. We'll see. Not another creature. Alright, and we'll light up the stage post-combat, see if we find another Pyromancer. Um, or, you know, Burn Spell, Shock Strike. Not a whole lot of difference of being at 2 or being at 1. Well, our next Frenzy turn wouldn't have been so good. All right, long last, we got there. So I guess I should play Tybalt against the Tybalt against the Wild Growth Walker deck. Nissa is going to be a card that that's going to be kind of a problem. So I want this Elder spell in here for that. Um, maybe even this other Angrath. Um. Yeah, let's try this. So as far as taking out, I don't think Gutterbones matches up too well here, and, and really neither does Viachino Pyromancer, but Pyromancer gets to deal damage. I mean, Butcher, I mean, honestly, Butcher doesn't that much either. 
So I, I do want to just cut down on creatures. I want all the, like, the burn spells. I want to kind of turn into like a, a frenzy burn deck here. So what if we take out Gutter Bones and Dreadhorde Butcher? I guess Judith without other creatures isn't really serving much of a purpose. Okay, back in the chat. Yeah, I guess we don't really need that, that basic land cycler, or like that the basic land link that we would use to change the basic lands anymore, because now we can change the basic lands in Arena. But that's what that command was about. Um, yeah, I saw, I saw you put a new spoiler here. It was just a lot of text, and I, I didn't get to it. Like a, it's just a. Your hand, yeah. So it's just it's just a, a better radiant destiny. I don't I don't think that card's too special, but it is a better radiant destiny. Well, unfortunately, none of our burn spells here. We'll see if Wildgrowth Walker gets us this turn or not, or if we get the Tibalt down first. Welcome to the more. Okay. We got the Tibalt in first, so now so it looked like I guess they didn't have very many cards in hand. So they must have mulliganed to like five or something. Well, this wasn't very Perfect. Let's get this Angrath in play now. Get that extra mana. Ever seen water burn? You will. All right, good job, Angrath. All right, one and two now. Coming back. Basic Island. This is Drake's? Like Phoenix? I mean. Ah. A blue a blue green deck. So this will happen from time to time of putting a bunch of Swamps in a mono red deck. <laughs> then we're kind of looking at just playing one thing this turn. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm really liking the, the dinosaurs that they have in this set, in the upcoming set. Really liking how they look. This isn't a fight you can win. 
Let's try this. Well, the swamp's going to go away. Yeah, yeah, they just kept me from using one mana, but then the Teferi kind of dies. I mean, I guess they, they really wanted to cycle. You know, if they Teferi tick up... Um, am I going to Angrath minus on that? No. I'm just going to shock it. I'm going to just play Angrath and start ticking up Angrath. Here. Yeah, so as you can tell, like they're they're looking for lands. Here be monsters. Looks like no fire, no steel. That hexproof. No fire, no steel. All right, down to nine. I mean, Angrath is sweet. A lot better than Chandra. <laughs> uh, yeah, Delotrius, the, yeah, all the Planeswalkers are really difficult for gates. So the, the problem with gates is, is all these different Planeswalkers. It's, Gates really str really struggles against him. Um, we could see, uh, like it, it's possible Gates just needs to start being a different color, or like needs to just yeah be in like a different color combination, um, some a different color combination that can actually deal with Planeswalkers. Yeah, which black is basically the only color combination that does deal with Planeswalkers efficiently. Like, maybe you don't need to be red as much. You know, red was basically just for Gates Ablaze. Maybe you can use black sweepers. I keep on... I always, like, click them after Angrath, but it's... Angrath is just an each opponent. I don't need to be clicking them. I feel like they have a frilled mystic. Fortunately, I don't have, you know, this, the, the four swamp two mountain is an unfortunate draw for us mana wise. Yeah, you think they have Frilled Mystic then Mass Manipulation? I could see that. Oh, maybe not. Frisky Biscuits, keeping that streak going. Thanks for that resub there, Frisky Biscuits. 
That's our fourth sub of the day there. All right, let's see what they got. They have to play something, otherwise the Angrath kills them. And whenever they play something, we can burn them. All right. <clears throat> Dress is still kind of looking good here against the Mass Manipulate Nissa deck. I love Angrath against Hydra Krasis. You know, they make a really big Krasis, you steal it and attack them for a bunch. I absolutely love, Kra love Angrath against Krasis. Um, creatures may not die that much. I think I'm kind of... I think I'm... Maybe we don't need Judith as much. Let's go to like one Judith... And three Butcher on the draw. And two Duress. Um, question is, is this deck better than just Mono Red? I don't know. We're trying it out. These gutta bones in. Sometimes we need to just throw our opponent a bone. Sorry, that was bad. I'll get my jokes out of the gutter. Yeah, I think this deck's better than... The Rakdos burn deck we played yesterday. Making a 2 2. Alright, down to 10. Angrath next turn is going to be nice. We draw this land. Come on, deck draw land. You can do it. We got these new M20 sleeves. They're looking good. Angrath gets past Sh Shalai also because it's each opponent. Doesn't target. Good point. Yeah, curving three mana two two into four mana three four doesn't always win. Did they mulligan? Do they do they keep that curve? So that four eight nine ten eleven. They're at eleven cards right now, and this is their turn five. So yeah, that would have been a seven card hand because you don't draw the first turn and then draw four. Hey, Zephyrs. Dang. No land. Hmm. 
<laughs> what do you call a hydroid crisis? Where X is two. Desperation. Oh no, Tulsimer! No! Ow. Alright, land. Ooh. Sure. That Tulsimer was great. That was perfect. I mean, if I would have hit that that land, you know, I would have been able to steal the steal the token and kill them, or you know, steal either one doesn't matter. But we would have had lethal if we would have hit the land for Angrath. But now, never know. Yeah, Tulsimer was a perfect card there. What if they spend all five mana here to destroy the Frenzy? I don't know exactly how. You know, like, like maybe their only play is, like, Brontodon, Sack, Brontodon, Kill Frenzy. Or, like, Vivian, Kill Frenzy. Or Ixalan's Binding Frenzy. I don't know what this little banner means there. We will not fail. Rise, my elemental friend. So they're willing to shock here. Ah. I do play haste creatures. You're just no fire, no steel. <clears throat> We need more fire, more steel. So of course, my plan there was to probably just not play anything and just spend the four mana to blow up the frenzy and then next turn play Angrath to do that, but that made my life a little easier. Man, Angrath is great. So much better than Chandra. So much better than Chandra. Why is there no Angrath Citadel? Because they had no fire and no steel. Alright, that's a pretty good one. That's a pretty good one. Unvalro, hey, GG's. GG's there. Oh, you were at 87 earlier today? Dang. Yeah, yesterday... Yeah, or was it yesterday or the day before? I don't know. I was playing a Gruul deck and won a lot, and I was at 51, and then yesterday I lost, I played a Sultai deck and lost three matches, and, and then I lost my first two with Rakdos today. So from, from 51, I lost five matches, and I was at over a thousand, you know, it was like a thousand something after just five, five matches. Ugh. But hope we can get back up there, Unval Road. That was a good game that we just had. Hmm. So I have to choose between Firebrand or Judith. That was not a very good light up the stage. I would have rather, you know, had one of these lands that were our two draws and then drew one of these spells. I 
just gonna take Judith. See, yeah, I could take Firebrand that would kill the the Steamkin. That was a case of the you know having the basic swamp in the deck, you know, de definitely hurt there. No, I don't think it's worth it to use one damage on the Firebrand that then just kills the Gutter Bones. I'd rather just have the Gutter Bones. I I just put the deck together. Just just started playing it. Um, so yeah, we're two and two with the deck right now. Um, but after I was zero and two, I did change some stuff, and we've been two zero since then. But it's been pretty sweet. Angrath has been awesome. Um, yeah, I've been liking it. Oh, and speaking of changing things, I need to update. Update the decklist command. I guess I never really did update the decklist command. Nobody, nobody pointed that out. And Grath. No, I won't be in the the Red Bull no qualifier fire. thing. Gosh, no maybe one of these days I'll stop actually <laughs> clicking on my opponent there. All right, so we have two Angraths, no Chandras. Chandra was so bad. Four Frenzy. And then one of these over here in four coil. You'll be nothing but slag when I'm done with you. All right, Angras helping us win this damage race, though. You know, it, it traded with a spell, it traded with Steamkin. Or it traded with two spells, I guess. Traded with Steamkin and Lightning Strike. Course free. Um... And dealt two to them. All right, we just need a lightning strike. Lightning strike, Angrath. Meow. All right, there the gutter bones are finally dead. Or Angrath, Lightning Strike, dang, Frenzy, light up the stage. Or how about Swamp? <laughs> All right, we have one more turn. Ugh, I won't do it. No. All 
Dang, couldn't quite finish it off. We had that Angrath was perfect. That was a great draw. And the light of the stage was a good draw too. But couldn't finish it out after that. All right, so we got Moment of Cravings here for the mono red matchup to help us out. Um, Angrath good. Um, coils are probably good too. Cause they have Phoenix. Coils can be good. So Gutterbone's dying to Chain Whirler is a little annoying. All right, minus creatures. <clears throat> yeah, I could side out. I could so, probably side out a swamp on the draw. I think on the play, I want to keep it. I want to make sure we hit our land drops, especially how we have like these angrass in here. No, frenzy is frenzy is awesome here, because for the most part, like our our spells trade. You know, like. We play creatures that they kill. They play creatures that we kill. Like the the cards just kind of trade, and then like frenzy, who frenzies first, like pulls ahead. This is not a matchup to take out frenzy. And that's why I have the extra angrath. Then also, like I want, I want like those seven cards to pull ahead with. All right, come on, lands. We land. Lucky. Not a land. Not good. <clears throat> I wouldn't mind having my own light up the stage either. Slide up the stage helps you hit the land drops. Land. Ugh. I mean that's a, that's a really good card, but <clears throat> definitely glad we didn't board out of land. No frenzy, no frenzy. Chandra. You want to play with fire, Chandra's huh? a little annoying. There's no problem. Fire can't solve. No lands. So I kept the three lander. I'm on seven cards without a land. Yuck. So eight cards, no lands. Time to fight fire. 
there with fire. No, there's no standard deck that wants to be on the draw. Let's light it up. Uh, it's frustrating. Quite frustrating. Hey, Pedro. Oh, I'm not so sure about that. One day we'll draw land. I don't think we don't think we will. Chain Whirler is just, you know, an extra card. They just get off the Chandra for free. Use those. But as you can see here, these these card, these four mana card advantage engines are, you know, like in Angras case five, like these card advantage engines are what what determine these aggro mirrors. Because you can see like the, the creatures and the burn spells all just kind of trade. And then who who has these engines? So for, for somebody who was saying that cut a frenzy, it's not something you want to do at all. these kind of matchups. It's too little too late though for us. This is just going to be bad for you. Just like most matches in Magic, it's the, the card advantage gets you there. You know, they've gone through another five cards in their deck. Yep, a little too late. I'll play a little bit more with the deck. Matches don't take super long. And our, our first deck didn't take very long at all, so I'm gonna play a little bit more. You saw Mono Red get a lot more lands than us, and I'm I'm playing a couple extra lands than what like your normal red deck does. You know, I'm playing twenty three, so like twenty three with like the light of the stages and stuff. It's like never hitting that fourth land drop after we started with after we started with three it's really unfortunate yeah j jack i'm gonna wait till after the video i'm not gonna not gonna do that during the youtube recording but yeah i'll, I'll wait till after i'm done with the deck um gosh Phil life fiend is such a beating <laughs> Can't shock that or anything. But gutter bones should be able to come back to us. Later on. Another red black deck. Pleasure is power. Enjoy yourself and live like a kid. I guess I cracked first. My friend is here to help your pain. So doing this because I'm planning on playing Frenzy next turn. So just clearing out the hands. 
Frenzy gets to rest away, that'll be bad. All right, good. Got that extra land. My assistants are painfully sloppy. All right, so they're going theater in instead of frenzy. So here's a good test to see what's what's better, theater or frenzy. Wasn't a great frenzy turn for us. Ugh. Firebrand. I don't actually have any gain life, so I don't really care about attacking the, the Tybalt. But I attacked the Tybalt with the Dreadhorde Butcher before because I thought that was the best chance of our opponent blocking. This thing, okay, just takes red to activate, right, so. Okay, we'll have that then with Spawn of Mayhem. Yeah. And Wrath. Really? That was like a good game, though. The opponent didn't like being at rack dust. <laughs> I'll take fire and steel for the win, Alex. <laughs> All right, we're gonna play one more. Now we're three and three. You know, that that match didn't take very long. Three and three will break the tie. Hopefully get this win here, get this winning record. All right, Frenzies. I'll take it. Frenzies are good. This is a slower hand, of course, but that's just fine. Mono red again. We we did just lose to mono red a little bit ago. So I can strike them and pl then play a stage for one, or just play stage for three and hold strike in hand. Just gonna play it for. For three and hold strike in hand. So like if there's like a chain whirler or whatever, we'd be able to strike it. I 
I guess I should have just used Firebrand, I guess. Because I guess Firebrand's just going to die to this Chain Whirler. Alright, I'm going Frenzy next turn. drop. Good. Alright, Frenzy, start taking over. Hey, good job, Alex. Just used the Arco deck to climb from Diamond to Mythic in less than a day. Way to go. Good job. Yeah, no kidding. We're not facing the Esper today. That's That was kind of like my thinking behind this deck is like a, a kind of like a mono red deck that maybe has a little bit more staying power against uh, Esper and, you know, has discard and all that kind of stuff. Ugh. That was not a very good turn. Yeah, multiples of frenzies are not good. You know, like that's that's really unfortunate there. But no, I don't, I don't think it's worth it to play any theater of horrors. All right, four light up the stages. Not bad. Not bad. What if I play Duress? No, I don't think I'm missing any Remodi Revelers. No. I'm... No, I don't really want that card. So so basically Gutterbone's weakness to Chain Whirler is why I'm going to go ahead and take those out. Down in Baton Rouge, it's 94 right now and feels like 110. I actually really like that kind of weather. I like the really hot weather. I guess I'm, you know, I'm from like Dallas. So I, I like dry heat more than like really humid as far as hot weather goes. But I like hot weather quite a bit. All right, let's draw some land. So I put the firebrand on the bottom with it not being a land and us needing land right now. Yeah, 
Hey, Mr. Mood, doing good. Uh, I played your deck earlier, the Abzan Hero deck. Uh, didn't, unfortunately, didn't go too well for us. Um. Yeah, start start off the stream with your deck there. Mr. Moo. Alright, let's see if we can get this Angrath. See if we can draw one more land and get this Angrath in play first before Frenzy. I'm not in a huge rush right now. They just have more light up the stages. So that's their sixth light up the stage so far in the two games. Oh, there's the seventh one. Just gone. They've just gone through eight more cards than I have. Blah. I mean, light up the stage is awesome. You know, I'm playing four of those also. I'd like to draw them too. You're just few, no fire, no steel. So yeah, um, yeah. So you can, so yeah, you can watch the the, the vod for it, Mister Moo, but. Um, it shows that we that we went one and two because we had we had one opponent that just disconnected, but but yeah, it didn't didn't go too well for us. We didn't we didn't win any games. We weren't. And unfortunately, it wasn't we weren't too competitive in in the games. Um, but yeah, so. It, Unfortunately, it didn't go very well. Hey, now we got triple light at the stage this time. Angrath's a good... I'll keep. I'll keep stop. Angrath's a good card of turning on light at the, the stage, but... Out, but the embers burn on. I don't think they're going to play any any creatures this next turn. Oh no, my Angrath. <laughs> I mean, but if they have a creature on top with Frenzy, they kind of have to play it. Hey, Narnan. Yeah, day's going well. All right, so we'll trade the Dreadhorde Butcher in the Moment of Craving here for the Chain Whirler. And so this game is just who hits better off Frenzy. So far, so good for them. That was a really good turn. Well, I guess it's not even over. They could have more mana from Steamkin. That was a heck of a turn, though. Um, I 
guess we hit... Okay. And now, now it's our turn. Oh, come on. Just play the coil. There you go. Hmm. Yeah, Mr. Mood, just go go you can click the video tab here on Twitch and you can just you can watch the the vod of it right now. Yeah, you can just rewind it. It's you know, it's there in in the uh video archive. Um both us us losing uh no, I have not played a land yet. With us losing a lot of the games, I don't I don't think I'm going to put it up on YouTube actually. Um, cause yeah, we didn't, didn't win any games, but yeah, you check it out, check it out there. I'm just clicking the video part. Ugh. This is a good match. We had Frenzy first, but they frenzied better. But it was a good, it was a good match. You know, we're we're certainly dead now, but Never seen water your crew good at match. So I, I do think that we are worse in red mirrors by adding black to the deck. But I think that that um Come on. Oh can I not can I not do this? Okay, there we go. I guess I should I should have played the yeah I should have played the pyromancer first before attacking could have dealt an extra point there, but yeah. I didn't I didn't have any any prayer really that we were gonna survive that. Okay, pretty good league though. You know for you know we went three and four yes but but promising. So couple so some some things about the deck. Um, I think, you know, specifically against Mono Red, I think we are behind. Um, even with the Moment of Cravings, with, um, like, uh, Gutter Bones and Dreadhorde Butcher and Judith, our three black creatures don't, aren't, like, necessarily that great in that matchup. Um, and, and then they have, you know, like, all mountains and everything, and, you know, we have, like, the swamps and stuff like that. So I do think we're behind in the matchup. But, uh, but that's all right. Like that's that's just kind of to be expected. Uh, played some close games, but that was that was two of our losses. Uh, right now, you just don't you don't usually see very much mono red around. Like playing, you know, we just played two against two mono reds here. But honestly, in, in ranked the last like week, I've been playing against hardly any mono red. So I, I don't really mind not having that good of a mono red matchup. Um, it's still pretty close. Like. Both like especially like that that last game, you know, we saw our opponent play seven light of the stages in the two games, and you know, in that last one, you know, the, their three were real early. I mean, I had I was in my light of the stages too, so I, I mean, I can't really complain too much. Um, but anyway, I I do like where this deck's at against like Esper. I think this is this is better positioned against Esper, for example, than Mono Red is. Like that's where. Mono Red really struggles, and Esper is is the deck that I've been playing against mostly. Like, that's the most popular deck, <laughs> even though we didn't really play against it here. Um, but having like Duress and Gutter Bones that keeps coming back, like that part of Gutter Bones, and then Angrath is awesome there. I mean, Angrath's just awesome. Really, really strong card in this red aggro deck. And Dreadhorde Butcher, real good at attacking Planeswalkers and everything, too. So, yeah, I, I like where this deck's at. Now, 
we lost our first two matches when we had our deck was a little bit different not much but we, you know we had chandras in here and the chandras were, were really hurting us um but took in the took those out put in another frenzy and angrath and it worked better so so basically we lost our first two matches whenever we, you know we had the chandras in here and then our other two match losses were to mono red so besides besides those after we changed the deck up and then after uh yeah, after we changed the deck up, we were 3-0 against non-mono red. So we, we were basically 3-2, lost both our matches to mono red, and won the other three. So I don't know. Yeah, like, this deck felt pretty good. Is Dreadhorde Butcher better than Steamkin overall? Not in aggro matchups, you know, like, not in, not in like, the mono red mirror. I'd rather have Steamkin, but against the, the control decks with all these Planeswalkers, I, you know, I want the haste with Butcher. Um, so, so there we go. Um, Parappa, you said you, you have luck with your Rakdos aggro against mono red. Is there any other, is there any different sideboard card besides moment of craving that you're playing? I could have bedevil instead of elder spell where bedevil would kill Chandra I'm still not super sold on the Tibolts, honestly. Like, I just don't even know if, like, Tibolts is a necessary card. It's there for the Esper matchup with all their life gain to, to try out. You know, I'm, I'm trying it out, see see how Tibolt goes. But I'm, I'm honestly not sold on Tibolt at, at all. Yeah, I think... Good question about, like, the, the mana base. I think I was pretty happy with the 23 lands. You know, I was, I was much less happy whenever we didn't have lands. There was a couple of games that we just flooded out really bad. Um, <clears throat> just like regular Magic, you know, a lot of a lot of the problems are whenever we didn't have very many lands or flooded out too much. But I think you really want to hit your fourth and fifth land drop. Like, with, you know, with having Angrath here, we want to get to Frenzy and Angrath. We want to get there. And so the games where we st get stuck on, like, three, like that one game against Monterey, getting stuck on three is a huge problem. But yeah, Bedevil could be better than Elder Spell. I basically have Elder Spell in here because of the, you know, the the Planeswalker decks with, you know, tons and tons of walkers. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I liked it. I liked it. All right, so there we go. All right, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. And um, if so, please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. I'd appreciate that. Uh, but that's it here for Rakdos Agro. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you for another video.